have Colby here with me, um, which I think he's gonna bounce. Yep. It's been some time since we have had a chat. Slight break. Excuse me. Vlogs get really overwhelming for me, so I had to take a slight break, and I thought favorites of 2020. These... I don't know what's happening. And it's going to be... <laughs> okay. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Priya. Thank you so much for joining me. I have been filming vlogs for I feel like the month of November, so I wanted to change up the pace here and sit down and do a talk through video of favorite skincare products of 2020. You know, 2020 was crazy. We were home a lot, so I used up a lot of products as well as tried out a lot of new stuff. These are products I discovered or used in 2020. If I don't have the product, I'll insert a photo, but I'll still talk about it. If I do have any coupon or discount codes in collaborations with any of the brands, I will link it down below and you can feel free to check out those links, use the discounts if you please. If not, they're just there for your reference. Um, I have my tea, so if you're planning to watch the full thing, you might want to grab a snack or something and let's get right into it. So the first skincare department I want to speak of is masks. This cute little sample is from Glam Glow. They do one of the best masks on the market and it's the Glam Glow Super Mud Clearing Treatment. So this is a charcoal mask. It's super strong. I tend to use this in the T-zone or just in like the nose area. It's great for picking out all those blackheads if it's like um, really oily in those T-zones or in those certain areas, you'll see the oil getting extracted. It's super, super strong. So I tend to use this as a spot treatment as well. So I'll apply it to my pimples or any blemishes I have before going to bed. And then, then when I wake up in the next morning, a lot of the oil has been extracted from those spots. So I use this as a spot treatment mostly on the regular. And then once in a while, I'll use it as a mask and that way I can really pull out some of the extra oils, but I don't use this as like a full face mask all the time. I love this as a spot treatment. The next mask I wanna speak of is from Ule Henriksen. This is their cold plunge pore mask. It's like a clay mask, but it doesn't dry, um, so it doesn't leave your skin feeling really tight and cracked, and it's this beautiful blue color. I have spoken about this before. You apply it to the skin, it doesn't fully dry, so you just apply it for about 15 minutes and then you remove it with cold water and that whole process of applying it to the skin and cooling on your skin and then you taking it off with cold water absolutely just changes the appearance of your skin it makes it look brighter tighter um, it also reduces the appearance of pores you can't actually shrink the size of your pores but it like basically just smooths your skin so this would be a great mask to use just before you were to apply your makeup, maybe you're going to an event and you want your skin to look super smooth, this is what I would use. So this does have AHAs and BHAs, so you do want to use sunscreen if you are applying this mask. The next product I want to talk about is from Nourished 3, and this is their Clarify and Brighten Mask. It's supposed to purify, resurface, and recharge. It has 6% AHA as well as 1% BHA. It's made with detoxifying clay, sulfur, and vitamin C. It's also amethyst infused, and if you are like me and you care about the color of your face mask, um, this is a beautiful lilac color. It's one of those masks that you don't let dry on your skin. You apply it, and then while it's wet, you still take it off. And to be honest, I think you only put this on for two to three minutes. So by the time you put it on, you let it sit, it's already time to take it off, which is perfect if you're trying to have a very quick routine. You use this once a week. It's amazing. I noticed such a big difference. I really didn't expect to. I noticed my skin was smooth. It just felt like it was exfoliated beautifully. It was hydrated. And I think it's also the sulfur in the mask. It smells a little like sulfur. If you know the scent, you know what I'm talking about. But it doesn't bother me because it works so well. That was a great discovery. The next skincare department is cleansing my face. I always do a double cleanse. If I'm wearing sunscreen, you want to make sure that you do a double cleanse even if you're not wearing makeup. My first cleanse is always the Purity um, 3-in-1 Facial Cleanser for face and eyes. I love this stuff. It does a great job of removing my makeup. It doesn't strip my skin. Or if I'm lazy and I just don't want to use two separate cleansers, I will just use this twice. It works amazing. And then maybe in the mornings, I don't want to use this cleanser, I love to go in with the CeraVe Facial Foaming Cleanser 
for normal to oily skin. This has ceramides, niacinamide, hyaluronic acid. I have spoken about this before. I really, really love this. We keep this in the shower. I think it's great for both men and women. It's gentle, but really hydrating. It does a great job of treating your skin, uh, making sure that you don't have any redness or irritation. It really helps hydrate the skin as well as just prevent any like future breakouts or it just keeps the skin really nice and squeaky clean. So I really, really like this. I think it's at an affordable price as well as the ingredients are just amazing. So these two are my favorite, but if I really had to pick a winner, this is probably the winning cleanser of 2020. Yeah! And then when I am drying my face, these are the Clean Skin Club clean towels. I have bought multiple packs. These are amazing. They come in this like, box they are biodegradable they are massive one towel does a great job of drying your face and it's great because you can just kind of wipe down the counter with them once you're done and chuck them and you don't feel too guilty what i love about this is they don't rip either so you can go in you can really like get into the nooks and crannies of your face and they don't break so next is toners i am such a toner girl i feel like i can't just go straight from cleanser to serum i feel like i need something in between to really just boost my skin so the first one is of no surprise it's the ule henriksen balancing force oil control toner this has neem seed oil bha complex aha complexes and it is so gentle i use this both morning and night this is my staple i have bought countless bottles countless like i couldn't count them anyways it's magic in a bottle it really keeps the skin hydrated it keeps the skin clean i am acne prone pimple prone blemish prone whatever you want to call it and this really helps me control that so i noticed that when i don't use this i totally break out right here and i will have just random breakouts that will not go away it, my skin is very persistent so this does a great job of really tackling that for me and then the neem seed oil keeps the skin really hydrated and then it's just it's great it's quite gentle and it keeps you glowing you'll glow to the gods with this so if you haven't tried this out give this one a go if anyone asks me for one skincare product that changes their skin for the better it's this one hands down I stand by this. I have the newest toner that I have added into my routine. This is from Termerica. This is their facial soothing toner. And I use this on days that I do not want any actives on my skin. So on days that I am using this mask, then I go in with this toner because there's no actives in here. Nothing's going to irritate my skin. It's actually going to do a great job of soothing my skin because it has rose hydrazole and turmeric extract. Those are the only two ingredients in here. So I just pump it into my hand. I take like three or four pumps and I apply it all over to my face and really let my skin just drink it in. If you are looking for a toner that's very gentle on your skin, maybe you're just starting out and you don't really need any actives, this would be a great option. You can find it at Whole Foods, Publix, um, and online. So. so the next item group is serums. Serums are probably the part where you get the most bang for your buck. I actually have quite a few favorites, and I'm sorry, but I do. So the first one I'm gonna talk about is the one that I don't have in front of me and I don't wanna forget about it. It is the retinol from The Inky List. I featured it in my empties on my Instagram because it is the best retinol if you're starting out. It is so gentle on your skin. It feels like a serum. It's not sticky. It's not oily. That is the one I would suggest if you are looking to start a retinol regimen. Um, just keep in mind, anytime you start retinol, you start off with one time, once a week, and then the next week you would go two times until your skin it begins to like handle it, and then you just increase it up to three to four days. You don't want to wear retinol every single day. It can be really damaging. If you're wearing retinol, you need to wear sunscreen. So this is the Lancome Youth Genifique Youth Activating Concentrate. This is like the best hydrating serum out on the market. It comes as a hefty price. This bottle will last you probably about six to seven months, maybe eight. And if you're using it one time, one time a day, then it'll probably last you a little longer. 
So what I love about this is this is a serum that I've been using for maybe two or three years and it does a great job of plumping the skin, hydrating the skin. It has bifidus root extract so it's patented with that ingredient and it's just supposed to be overall great for your skin. I apply this all over to my face, I apply it to my lips, I apply it to my neck and I think that I always come back to this because I see a difference. This has a little bit of vitamin C in it so you can use it in the daytime as like a vitamin C serum, um, which is what I used to do in the beginning. I would just use this both morning and night. And now I have different serums that I kind of interchange, but this one I use maybe two to three times a week and I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy it. This is also one of those products that I can recommend to any type of skin and usually it will do a great job of helping clear out any dark spots or hyperpigmentation. Not that like you need to clear it up, but if that is a concern that you do have, then that is something that I would suggest this for. The next product I wanna talk about is the Pharmacy Honeymoon Glow, and this is the AHA Resurfacing Night Serum. This serum is so special because it is really hydrating to your skin, and these two in conjunction are a match made in heaven. When you when you use it, it's like you wake up with a fresh dose of hydration to your skin, a new plumpness. You feel like your skin is a little bit more even toned and this gives you this amazing glow. Even right when you apply it, you'll notice like your skin almost looks like you've had this massive beautiful facial. This does an amazing, amazing job of resurfacing your skin just like it says. Now while we're talking about resurfacing and AHA serums, let me talk to you about the Monday Born Rebirth. This is the exfoliating serum with 5% lactic acid. It's packed with ingredients that really make a difference to your skin. It has niacinamide, it has birch juice as its main ingredient instead of water. So if you are looking for a really gentle way to exfoliate your skin, really treat that redness, that irritation, maybe you're dealing with acne prone skin, a lot of blemishes, you're looking to really hydrate and control the way your skin acts. This serum is a superhero. It is absolutely amazing. What I love about this is it's gentle enough for you to use on a weekly basis, like maybe two to three times a week, but it's not going to make you break out. So I think how the manufacture is once you purchase, you almost do like a pre-order. You get your serum made fresh for you in that period of time. So you're always getting a fresh bottle. You're not picking one that's like maybe sitting on the shelf for like five, six months. You literally get one that's just been made. So the ingredients are super high quality. That's what I think is super unique about this one. If you wanna check them out, I'll definitely link it below. Okay, so the next thing I wanna talk about is vitamin C serums. Vitamin C serums are so common. There's so many on the market. I feel like I've tried really high-end vitamin C serums as well as really low-end, and I think I've found my happy medium, and that is the Frutia Citrus Brightening Serum. It's very smooth and silky on the skin. It helps absorb and hydrate the skin. It protects your skin. The only thing is I've noticed that it it's getting harder and harder to find this online. Um, I used to be able to buy it off Amazon, now I don't see it, so I am on the hunt for a new vitamin C. But while I was on the hunt for a new vitamin C, this came in the mail through a BoxyCharm. This is the Earth Harbor Helios Anti-Pollution Youth Ampule, and I have been using this in conjunction with this serum, so I just kind of add a drop in when I am applying it to my face. And it does a similar thing because this already has some vitamin C components in it. Um, this works as the anti-pollution, anti-stressors. It helps with the environmental free radicals. So overall, um, this has been really great. What I love about the texture to this is it feels like an oil, so it's super hydrating, but then it soaks into the skin almost instantly like water. Um, it's a very unique formula, but I really, really have grown to love this. The next skincare category we are going to talk about is moisturizers. I have gone through so many moisturizers, especially because my skin just gets drier and drier every single day. I want to give a special shout out to the Super Berry Hydrate and Glow Dream Mask. I talked about how I loved this too 
use um, to really hydrate my skin and prep it for any special occasion. This is one that you use at night and it does a phenomenal job of being able to go really deep into the skin. It has McQui, vitamin C, squalene, and hyaluronic acid as the main ingredients. I love anything with squalene in it. It, it is an ingredient that I've grown to really, really um, enjoy using in my skincare as well. So this one is super plush. It's super hydrating as the name suggests. And I have been using this for a solid three, four months. And you can see that I've barely even scraped the top. So this is going to last me a very long time. And also the packaging is sustainable. So that's fantastic. The next product is actually a new product to my collection. And I loved using this because I noticed that this became my safety net. This is the Dr. C Tuna Aloe Cream. And this was sent to me by Sweeney Ben. I often mention her on my Instagram. If you're not following me there, just head over there. But this cream did a great job of really protecting my skin when my skin went haywire. If I was having a really rough skin day, I was nervous to put anything on my skin, but I still needed to give it that hydration and really calm it down. This is the cream I reached for. The fact that the main ingredient is aloe is is amazing. It's made with 53% aloe vera. So this is going to be super nourishing to the skin, really calm it down, help with any of the redness and irritation you may be experiencing. If you're dealing with sunburn or sun damage, this is what I would apply. Um, I think this became a savior to my skin routine and this is something that I would definitely repurchase if um, and when I do run out. On days that I don't wear makeup but I'm still doing my skincare routine, I would go in with the um, Drunk Elephant Debronzy Anti-Pollution Sunshine Drops. This is just kind of like an extra boost of protection towards the environmental stressors. It also gives a really nice hydrated bronzy glow. Let me actually show you on the back of my hand what it looks like. So I would probably just take a small amount like this and work that into my moisturizer and apply that to my face. And it just gives this really, really hydrated glow. Obviously this is a little bit more intense. It would be much more sheer with um, a moisturizer paired with it but it just gives my skin like a really nice dewy sun-kissed glow and this is almost like makeup but not really because it's good for your skin this product is kind of like a standalone product it's a lone wolf and it is the turmeric moisturizing oil by fountain of purity this oil does an amazing job of hydrating the skin really protecting the skin if you're dealing with any inflammation or any acne or redness this is going to really help tackle those issues it has um let me get this right i i don't want to mess this up for you so it has turmeric oil jojoba oil and coconut oil and i don't find that this adds to my breakouts or makes me break out in any way this does actually quite the opposite it really helps me calm down my skin. This is something that I always talk about. It always comes back in my skincare routine. I use it when I'm either doing some facial rolling or any of lymphatic drainage. This is kind of the oil I use to create some slip on my face. It's just, I talk about this all the time. It's no surprise that this is in my 2020 favorites. I think this is going to be a lifelong favorite. So um, if you have not yet tried this oil, I talk about this 24 seven, go check this out. The next product I want to talk about is eye cream. I believe in eye creams for under makeup to really keep those under eyes hydrated. Um, if you're dealing with any dryness or like, like crepey skin, then I love using an eye cream. But I don't believe that eye creams really help with dark circles or hyperpigmentation under the eyes or like darkness under the eyes. I don't think that is an, an issue that can be solved with just any ordinary eye cream. That might be something you need to consult with a dermatologist, but it's also genetic. So you have to kind of see where you're standing on that scale. But um, the eye cream that I have been loving this year, this is actually my second bottle. This is another sample that I have in my collection. Before I purchase the real one, I am going through all my samples because no wastage this year. This is the Biosan Squalene Marine Algae Eye Cream. This is super hydrating, super nourishing. You can use it both morning and night. I've used it under makeup. I've used it before bedtime. Well, I think this is one of my favorite Biosense products. And for our last product, but not least, is the Jouer Essential Lip Enhancer. This is 
a lip product that you can apply before bed in the morning on the go you can use it as a lip treatment you can use it as a lip balm you can apply it over your lipstick as a gloss like it does a million things and this is all you need it smells like roses it's so nourishing not a sticky formula it's just everything you would want in a lip product all in one it also has a very handy applicator so that way you are able to really get that precision if that's what you need but this is great because it's something that i can just slip into my pocket and walk out the door and i don't have to worry about a lip product you know like this is going to do everything for me okay so that brings me to the end of my favorite skincare products of 2020 let me know if there's something in your routine that i am missing out on leave it down below in the comment section so i can go check it out thank you so much for helping me get to six months of filming i can't even believe i started this past june i feel like this year has been a year of tremendous growth for me as well as everybody around me um i just know that everyone has been through so much aside from that i am really grateful for you guys here online i think i'm gonna leave on that note before i get teary <laughs> uh thank you so much for joining me today i hope you have a great rest of the year and i will catch you guys in the next video bye Okay, what is going on here? Was I like that the whole time? How embarrassing. Mm -hmm.